to Americans who are against free health care. Why? The funny thing is, because some states in the US require health insurance, we already do pay for universal health care, only at a much higher rate, and through private industry. People just don't realize it. I feel like a lot of people in this thread taking the word free in healthcare too literally. ITT Redditor answers question. Downvoted, told why they are wrong by other Redditors, quite a few who are non-American. Because they don't want their taxes to increase. Because they don't believe it's their responsibility to pay for someone else's medical problems. Because they don't trust their government to manage it. There's always so many misconceptions that happens in these threads. 99.9 of Americans agree that healthcare needs overhaul. I just can't believe there are people in the US that trust our government to do anything correctly. Who else does it though? I certainly don't have an answer. I want universal healthcare no such thing as free healthcare but I want a healthcare reform beforehand. Our healthcare system has some real issues and scum behind it that needs to be addressed before we could even get a real universal healthcare plan in place. The VA system is what free healthcare would look like in America. Not sure that's an improvement plus the government never does anything remotely cheap. I lived in the UK where NHS was in essence free healthcare. As an expat I had to have private insurance. I got in to see the doctor immediately because the doctor had a policy of treating his private clients first and then just going home for the day. NHS paid him so little for treating people for free, he'd rather get nothing and use the free time. Oh look yet another question that everyone upvotes in spite of the fact that no one will upvote a real answer, because that would mean voting for someone you disagree with. Instead we get, well, people who are against it think cartoon partisan characterization of people I don't like. The government is a good example as to why the government isn't trusted to run things. Probably cause our government is notorious for handling things poorly. Also cause it would most likely be reversed when someone else takes over. Free not equal to quality. Free down votes for anyone who answers the question honestly. I pay $130 a month for insurance. That covers a family of six for health, dental and I. $20 copri $30 for a specialist. Longest I've waited was two weeks. I think population density could be a factor. I live in the middle of a bunch of major metropolitan areas so there is no shortage of specialists. As someone living in a country that has free healthcare, it sounds great but be prepared to wait for years for your appointments. I had a dermatology appointment that was two-year wait, my mother had a hernia and she had to wait for hernia surgery for three years. That is free health care. Of course if you decide to pay for health care, you get treated very quickly. Who would have thought, right? Government incompetence and inefficiency. I've seen stories of government denying coverage for procedures or taking a long time, in comparison to America, to actually perform the procedure. I'm also not a fan of giving government more power and authority over individuals. I think the best argument against free healthcare is the loss of the profit incentive. Drug companies are competing to achieve massive profits. The incentive to design better drugs is more money. While America does not have the most accessible healthcare, we do have one of the most advanced medical research systems. We have to replace the money incentive, or at least temper it before we can go to universal healthcare and maintain the high caliber of our medical research industry. It's not free, it's never free. I'm still in favor of public healthcare, but please, it isn't free, even in the best public systems in the world. Because there is no such thing as a free lunch. Because the US government will fuck it all up worse than it already is. People act like our government can actually run something that large and important. They can't run it, the US government already outspends literally every other nation on the planet with healthcare spending and due to corruption at every level we still fuck it up. People act like our government won't find a way to cheat us more than they already are. As a Canadian let me tell you how proud I am of our system I've only had to wait 7 months so far to see a specialist about my herniated disc. 
I'm sure I will get a call any day now to get a five-minute consultation a few months after that to then plan an operation another few months years after. But hey this nothing I'm getting is free well my tax dollars are funding it, so who's to complain? Also I haven't had a family doctor since. Maybe 2015 or so. I'm not against it exactly. I'm just against it with our current governmental processes. We couldn't get Obamacare off the ground and operational, without killing our cheaper, more efficient private health care. Everything they do is full of pork, kickbacks, and these derelicts lining their pockets not to mention just plain piss-poor oversight. Nobody wants you have a conversation about the wait times in these other advanced countries with UH. Stop calling it free. That's probably part of the problem. Call it single pair. Call it Medicare for all. But don't call it free. It won't be free. Nowhere in the world is health care free. Name one thing the government runs efficiently. Do you want the government to have all of your private health information on a government server? Because they're either stupid or evil. Or both. Propaganda mostly. My parents are staunch Republicans and against socialized medicine but apparently not against it enough to opt out of Medicare or keep talking how nice it is. But their logic loop is they paid for it their whole lives, so they earned it. Which isn't really how it works. How much is your life and health worth to you is a pretty scary question. How much is your life and health worth to the government is way scarier because the government is corrupt and easily captured by special interests. It would just turn into a big scam. Better to break up the insurance companies and decouple them from the healthcare industry if you want to see meaningful cost reduction in healthcare. Better to encourage more competition in healthcare to bring costs down. It's a cartel right now with predictable results. High prices, price gouging, etc. Every argument I've ever heard on the topic always boils down to I trust corporations more than the government to do an efficient, non-evil job. That does not mean they trust the corporations at all. It means they absolutely do not trust government to do a goddamn thing. They think anything it touches turns into a bloated, super expensive, poor quality, corruption-infested cesspool. To understand conservatives in America you have to understand they fucking hate the government more than most people hate other countries that are their enemies. Mostly because it's not free. But also because the government is uniquely qualified to completely fuck it up. Because the US government fucking sucks at managing anything and everything, so it'd end up being worse and cost more. Of course, that's what happens whenever the government gets involved in anything at all. I had free healthcare in the military was the worst shit I've ever seen until I had to deal with the VA, government is horrendously incompetent in just about everything other than killing people. That's my personal reason I go to a doctor now that insurance helps pay for. The level of service I get is vastly superior. Nothing's free. Anyone who served in the military knows to leave as little as possible to the government to be in charge of. Because while I hate our current system and think it definitely needs help, I absolutely believe that government control of healthcare is a bad idea and will be worse. No one is against free healthcare. The problem is free healthcare doesn't exist. It's either insurance or taxes and I prefer insurance where I can make decisions instead of the government doing it for me. As a healthcare provider who has been fucked by the government many times, I don't trust this single pair. Dot because it will be free for thee but not for me. I am British and I live in the US. My maximum possible healthcare costs are much lower here in the US than they were in the UK no healthcare is free. That said I have absolutely zero desire to ever have to deal with the NHS ever again, and the government should never have control over healthcare. What I normally tell Americans is the lot of you have a really bad case of the the grass is greener on the other side. There are advantages and disadvantages of both systems problem to solve in both, but if you think you are going to get free healthcare, you are delusional.